Club of Brunner and Field. My name is Adam. Today we are speaking to, to Mark from St. Brandon's GAA. He is teaching GAA in our school. I hope you like this video and uh, uh, this episode. Please like and subscribe. Like, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Welcome Mark to Brunner and Fields. My name is Adam. What is your job? My job is to go around to all the local schools in the local area to teach them GAA. What do you do in Brunner? What I do in Brunner is I get each class from second to fourth and I teach them all the basic skills of GEA, which is bouncing, soloing, catching, and just having some fun. Do you have many kids going to training in St. Brandon's? I have over 100 kids. I have 50 in my nursery. I have about 15 under under eights, about 20 under tens, and about say 50 under 13 boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, can you explain when and where the training takes place and is it fun? First thing is, it is fun and I train Tuesdays is at half seven, usually in Grange Garment or on our other pitch which is in Long Meadows. Then I train, that's for the under 13s. Then under eight, under tens, and under thirteen girls train in Grange Garment on a Wednesday at seven, and then the under thirteen boys train again on a Thursday, and then I have a nursery, and every other team trains on a Saturday morning at ten a.m. Also. Yeah. How has coaching, how has coaching kids and skill changed since COVID? A lot has changed since COVID. Uh, the the main thing is to keep social distance, which is trying to incorporate. The two meter rule, which is hard to do teaching GAA, where you want to tackle with the ball, but we try to implement that we do not touch each other and everything is done to the COVID recommendations. Are the Ducks going to win a six in a row? I hope they do. It's a, it's a, it's, that's if it even happens with the way championship, whether they actually go ahead with championship. I know the leagues are starting this weekend, so hopefully they'll get championship up and running as well also, but like, hopefully they'll do six in a row. Yeah. Uh, what is, was it hard to become a GAA coach? I, I got this kind of by default because I was coaching other teams and two or three of the lads asked me would I like to go full time as a GPO and I jumped at the opportunity to go full time, so I was delighted and I actually love teaching GAA. My favourite skill to teach would be probably the solo, because a lot of a lot of younger kids find it very hard. But there's a, it's one of one of my favourite things to teach, or else the tackle as well, the near hand tackle as well, to get lads to hit the ball instead of hitting the person. Yeah. Do you know any famous GAA players? Um, I went to school with Alan Brogan and I went to school with Bernard. Uh, I know. Evan Comerford who came here to the school and uh, that's pretty much it I'd say. There could be one or two more that I know. Yeah. What was it like uh, during lockdown for you? Oh it was it was hard, it was very, very hard. Not being out going out to the field to play a bit of football even with your friends or anything like that it was very, very hard. But mo the thing that I done over lockdown was I done a lot of Zoom sessions for my, all my kids, which I done basic skills with them, I done bouncing, catching, a bit of fun and uh, it, was, it, it was hard but I got her on the other side of it hopefully and we're out playing again. Yeah. What tip or advice would you give to the children who do become a better GA first? The tip I would give would be just go out and practice and have fun, just learn their skills and what like you can practice off a wall, it does not matter, just go out and have fun and just <laughs> practice your skills when you're at home, when you're not training and that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks uh, for the interview. Uh,